James Kaufman will news report today, September 30th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had a very large Earth-facing solar flare. I believe it was a 7.68 M-class solar flare. This flare peaked at exactly 7 p.m. Central here. It was in M territory for just about two hours of time. Definitely Earth-directed, as you will soon see. Let's take a look at the information. Jumping over to spaceweatherlive.com, we see it is, in fact, or was, in fact, an M7.68 class solar flare. It was directly Earth-facing. It came from Sunspot Group 3842, which is the most complex sunspot known to man. It is a beta delta gamma sunspot. And it looks like the duration here was right around one hour. At least that's what they're saying as far as the stats here on Space Weather Live. We had only a 10% chance of an X-class flare today, a 50% chance of an M-class solar flare today, and we've still been running a C baseline, so it should be a 100% chance of a C-class solar flare. We're currently at a C 4.77 level and dropping still after this strong M7.68 solar flare. You can see that the C flares popped off today as well. And just before the M flare, we had a C8.4, the biggest flare of the day. Now this M7.68 solar flare is the biggest solar flare we've seen in about two weeks. Heading over to HMI Intensigram. We see sunspot 3842, again, beta delta gamma, the most complex sunspot known to man. We will take a look at this on STI HMI magnetogram next. You can see how many sunspots are Earth facing. It's really a busy star for as little activity as we've seen. We have four. Uh, Eight, nine sunspots Earth facing, and several more that look like they should be named and are coming around the limb here. Jumping over to STO HMI magnetogram, we see how complex the sunspot actually looks like. Again, this is sunspot 3842, and it is a mess. Looks like we have a lot of complex sunspots Earth facing currently on our solar disk. Now, NASA has come out and warned us about a radio blackout, an R2 radio blackout, and it actually is showing the flare from GO-16 solar ultraviolet image at 94 angstroms, right out of 3842, and that happened at 2359, or right at 7 p.m. Central Time. That was an M7.68 solar flare. Over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager. You can see that solar flare pop off right there from 3842. And it's clearly visible. Definitely created a coronal mass ejection. And that would be definitely headed towards Earth. I would expect an impact in the next 40 hours-ish, give or take. Heading over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. This is the actual peak of the flare here. You can see 0, 100. And I was expecting this to look a lot worse on our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. I also expected the radio alternation with an R2 radio blackout to be much more extensive. But this is what they're showing us. Definitely Earth-facing, though. Almost exactly earth facing and we'll know if they actually model a cme hopefully by the end of the evening if not i'll let you guys know tomorrow it should again end up striking earth in about 40 hours so with that said the strongest flare we've seen in about two weeks an m 7.68 solar flare directly earth facing just popped off and i'm sure that it does have an associated coronal mass ejection. 
make sure to have your tinfoil hats on and lots of popcorn and let's get ready for another show of northern lights aurora borealis and maybe even aurora australis god bless please share please subscribe always remember anything's possible the bizarro world